Coach Bernan, yes. Mason, Ohio comes yep. to the Dvorak, only Ohio team. Yes. Iowa City West, the only Iowa team. Yep. Okay, Lakeland Prep, the only Florida team. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Coach, looking at the, the tournament, top four finish for you guys. First off, one, 126. That was awesome. It was a great match. He came here. Yep, that's Zach what that Donathan almost upsets Gomez in a crazy bout. Literally last second. Wait till you watch it. I, I commentated it. But yeah. but looking at that match, mm -hmm. what do you guys want to get out of a match like you that? You know, I mean, he's been really close with a couple good kids. Iron Man, I think he drew in uh, Mitch Moore in the first round. Took him to, I think it was a 4-2 match. Then um, bows all the way back and wrestles uh, Tyler Warner. And they lose in, the, I think, the ultimate tiebreaker. Uh, last two weeks, you know, trying to take away from um, those couple experiences, comes here, um, beats a really good kid in the number two seed to get to uh, Gomez. He lost to Gomez his freshman year, uh, so, you know, it was a, it was a match that uh, he wanted to wrestle. He was looking forward to it, so uh, he got a little excited in the first period when he went up 2-0. Um, wrestled really tough. I uh, thought we were, you know, in on it. We were in there late on that single, and then, uh, you know, Gomez uh, scrambled into a, a, a looked like a cradle, I guess. Here, it was, I was bizarre. On, I don't I know what my eyeballs saw. I was on the other mat, so uh, my coaches are kind of talked to me through it a little bit. But uh, you know, these are kind of matches he needs to compete uh, for, you know, at the end of the year. For uh, you know, he, you know, he kind of had a little bit of disappointment last year at the state tournament, um, and so you know, he's re refocused himself and. Um, uh, you know, just these are kind of matches that we came up here for. That's a great tournament. Uh, I get to see some high-level kids, uh, teams, three nationally ranked teams, and we're you know we're kind of battling in there. Uh, we brought uh, 12, 12 out of 14 kids are on the classmen that we have. So you know we we're we're wrestling a little bit above our pay grade right now as far as you know where we might have thought we would have been. Um, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule with this group. So we're feeling pretty good about today's performances. Division one's up for grabs this year. I don't see a clear-cut favorite. Obviously, Maslin Perry, yeah. St. Ads is the defending champ. Yeah. Illyria is surgeon. Um, you guys are right there, Coach. Uh, you know, uh, you know we're, we're an interesting team. I don't know where our top end is right now. Um, we got Owen Tangent Liberty, who we wrestled in at their tournament. Yeah, Mark Marinelli's put together oh, a hammer yes. squad there. <laughs> yeah, a great program. So, you know, it's exciting to see what they've done up there. Um, you know, we're, you know, these are, these are our kids that have kind of come up through our system. And so we're seeing the benefits of, uh, you know, great coaching staff I've got and um, a lot of hard work from our kids in our program. Um, you know, we, we kind of kind of go by the homegrown. These are our kids that come up through, and so we're excited about this group of kids and the great kids that we got coming up through our program. So. Southwest Ohio has really upped its game in all three divisions, in my opinion. Um, what do you credit to that? How have you guys gotten so much better as an as a, as a entire yeah. area of the state? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, we're starting to work a little bit better together. Um, you know, back, we used to have the Cincinnati Wrestling Club back when we were coming through and coaching. And so, you know, our, our kids are doing a little bit more in the offseason and uh, working together. Uh, our open mat sessions have gotten a lot better and getting a little bit better attendance. And uh, some of the clubs in that area have kind of formed up and um, have done a good job developing kids. So the, entrance, uh, the entry level of some of the clubs have elevated their game as well. Uh, what did you guys, how many total placers did you have here? Uh, eight. Eight total. Eight. That's pretty impressive, eight. Coach. Eight, and we had uh, 12 in the, in the first Seven round. of the eight are underclassmen? Uh, six of the eight. Six of the eight underclassmen. Yes. Looking forward. How bright's that future for you guys? Uh, it's, it's pretty bright. Um, you know, we just uh, we got to work on our upper weights, and we're, we're getting better there. So if we keep improving on the upper end of our kids, they just need experience. They're, they're good kids. We just need to get them more mat experience. So if we can continue to do that, our lightweights are you know, carrying us through this this, uh, this kind of tournament. So when uh, you know, we get some of these kids bigger in the all season, we're going to be right there. Do you guys have the largest enrollment in Ohio? Is it you guys? Yes, uh, we are. We, we do now. Yes. You guys have the largest enrollment. Yes, yeah. Do you think that that helps? You know, having a larger pool, of guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it can't hurt. Um, that's for sure. And so, yeah, it has. It's helped our development. Um, and you know, we got a great facility. Um, uh, I'd say our facility rivals. Close the Liberties. To, it's right it, there. It's right there. No question. Um, you know, our strength rooms right there, and um, you know, all that's kind of kind of come together over the last six, seven years. And, we're just now seeing a benefit of uh, of a lot of that, with along with the increased enrollment for sure. All right, coach, you got anything else right. for me? No, thanks, and thanks for thanks for coming out here, being an Ohio guy. Yeah, hey, thanks Governor's for coming. Yep, thanks.